Aquarius, why are you so goddamn mysterious and leaving these hoes delirious? God damn, girl. What is going on? I missed you. It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpio. Right, Tavro. I am back at it again. One time for the one time to let you guys know what the energies is surrounding you for the month of July 2020. Show me the money energy. I freaking missed you guys i hope that you guys have been having a fantabulous relaxing time during the rona shutdown lock-in you guys um i want to give a big shout out to every last one of you guys who have been booking personal readings and sending these amazing decks through the um, amazon wish list one two three and four please send me more it's like no i'm playing <laughs> These four decks right here are all brand new thanks to you guys. So thank you so much for the love and support that you guys have been sending to the channel. And we are breaking out one of my old school Doreen Virtue decks this time. So we're going to see what's going on with you guys for the month of July 2020. Show me the money energy. If there's anyone that would like to book a personal and private reading with me. With Scorpion Rats Tarot. The only thing you need to do is click the About tab on my YouTube page. Alright, it gives you the instructions also in the description section of this video on how to book with me just send me a message on um, Instagram if you don't have Instagram email me and I'll give you the steps to download Google Hangouts which is a free app and only thing that you need to connect with me on Google Hangouts is my email address which is scorpionreds at gmail.com and we can get things going if any of these readings resonate and um, you want to send some love to the page, you number one can do that by clicking the like button and tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend and send that little butts on over here and say what's up. Tell them to send that little butts over here and say what's up. Um, you can check out the Amazon wish list. Um, if there's any decks in particular that you do not see on the Amazon wish list that you would like to send, um, just email me again at scorpionreds at gmail.com. I will add it to the wish list and you can send away. Um, there's also the Cash App and the PayPal, which you guys have also been just awesome, just sending support and love to the page. So thank you guys again. Um, you know that we always send love and give praises to the Creator before we do any single thing. Um, because this blessed, gifted energy that we're using right now to just help us um, move ahead and take the careful steps that we're making to ensure the success in our future is all because of Him, you know. So we got to acknowledge Father God um, and just give Him, you know, acknowledgement and just tell Him thank you before we get into anything. So Father God, thank you so much for just coming down and being around the lovely, lovely sign of Aquarius, you know, um, we try our best to just manifest greatness in our life, Father God. We try to practice what we preach it. And if we ain't got nothing positive to say, we ain't got nothing to say at all. One thing about an Aquarius is like, you know, um, we are very observant creatures, you know, and we try to just maximize our skill of intelligence and just um, making careful calculated steps you know we are just like deep thinkers and we just like to strategize and just you know um, know every single thing before we get into things that might you know we might regret in the, in the future exactly so um, we just want to be meticulous uh, game changers straight up and down we just want to be meticulous game changers we want to set new trends, um, and we just want to serve face, okay? Listen, set trends to serve face. We just want to be pretty. We just want to be affluent. We just want to grasp all of the new skills that are in our path, Father God, and we just thank you for just making us the way we are. We don't apologize for a single solitary thing that's going on with us because whatever mistakes we make, we chalk it up to the game as a lesson, and we continue to move forward in our blessings. We're not about to sit here and cry over yesterday's spilled milk. Not at all, Father God. So I thank you so much for making us so strong and help us, you know, stand tall and, um, move and operate with pride and dignity father god so give us guidance for the sign of aquarius uh thank you so much for all of the blessings that you have on our path in the days and the years and the months ahead father god we thank you now and uh amen let's keep it going all right let's get into this aquarius let's see what you got them all delirious about baby. let's see 
Oh, God, give me guidance for the sign of Aquarius. For July, July 2020, show me the money season, baby. Give me one card for my Aquarius. What type of day-to-day -day energy they're going to need to be in for the July. Mm, have confidence. Now, what in the hell would you need to be having confidence about? I, all the Aquarius says, I know. Yeah, okay. All the Aquarius says, I know y'all are either very quirky. Well, you guys are quiet to the people that you don't know. But for the people that know y'all, y'all are very, very funny energetic type of people you always planning something like planning an event or doing something like y'all always got something going on and you just got to be in the know to really know what's going on with the Aquarius um I think that they are very very confident people you just got to be in their inner circle you know what I'm saying um there might be a thing about you guys needing to be confident about kind of showing the magnetism that you have and that you truly are like you are magnetic but you can't come off very quiet and reserved and you know they're saying narcissistic hold up back it up so with that being said that is like other people looking at you because you don't let them in so that's their bag like I don't know what to tell you I, look that's other people's perception of you and they can have that and I hope that they have fun with that but clearly what this is saying is like I feel like there could be some people that you could be putting off because of that mysteriousness about you of your reservedness it may come off as if you're being narcissistic and it's like you only thinking about you and not really allowing other people a chance to kind of get into your world. Like maybe you it's coming it's coming off as if you think you too good or they're not good enough to be let into your circle. But I don't think it's that at, I don't think it's that at all. It's just you just need to have more confidence to kind of like open up a little bit more. It takes time for you to open up and people don't understand that and it can be a little off putting to other people that don't know you as if you think that you know what I'm saying? And it's just no, I just don't know you like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like the people that I'm live and I'm like that with I've known them for years or and or I grew up with them so they know me. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a different bag. You know what I'm saying? And for people that just don't know you Look at you, you're beautiful. Like I said, you're magnetic. Like, they see how live you are around other people. So why is, like, when they deal with you, why are you so dead? You know what I'm saying? It's like, you are very shy. And I just feel like you're calculated. And it's like, I don't want to show all of that until I feel like it's time to show all of that. You're just a very calculated person. And people just don't understand that about you. It says, moving forward does not necessarily require... You to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God is enough. Along with knowing that God works... Through and with you in all ways. Lean upon us as if your lean upon us if your confidence wavers, and we will buy you courage and faith. Alright. It's it's something okay. It's something about you, your throat shop for you talking to people. You having the courage to like they're saying to stand up and talk to someone. All right, let's get two to the right, two to the left. I see you want to shoot out. What are you? The two of vessels, the attraction. Damn. Let us say attraction. The two of vessels in the reverse. So, there's a lack of connection. There is a lack of connection because I feel like one isn't talking to the other about their emotions and things like that but I really feel like there isn't any emotions yet for the Aquarius I, I don't feel like 
And you guys could be dating a, a, a water sign who are very emotional people. And to a water sign, it can be a little off-putting if you're dealing with a Aquarius that doesn't really show their emotions like that. And one thing I can tell you about the Aquarius is I know that y'all do not show y'all. Y'all have a stone face. Y'all have that poker face all the time. You never really know what the Aquarius is thinking. And what is this? The world. So it's basically telling me right here, it's like, you see how on one side of this tree is green, on the other side, it's like the brownish red. So this tree is giving off two different energies. One is, it is, is, is springing into the summer and one is leaning into the fall. You know, I really do feel like. This is a connection where I feel like both of you guys are meeting each other for a reason. But one is hot and just one is cold. And I feel like the attraction is off because one person is able to communicate how they feel and what they want. And the other person is falling off because they're not able to adjust their self emotionally to even figure out what their emotions is. Or if there is even any emotion, it's just like I don't really know what to say, you know. But I'm like, if you look deep inside, I really do feel like you do know what to say. Um, but I feel like this, this is a maze for you. Like, even with this world being here, like, it's, it's like, with this other vessel being here that is pouring into you and looking for you to pour into it, it is really changing you in a way where you're having to go through this maze of thoughts before feelings, though. Aquarius is thoughts before feelings. Thoughts before feelings is like, am I willing to change? Can I really pull this emotional side out of me? You know what I'm saying? It's like, because there's also this shyness, whereas though, I feel like the Aquarius feels like that they may be like a fool if they express what they really feel or even just expressing that they don't know what they feel. And, and it's like, I feel like even just saying, I don't know what I feel right now. It's nothing fucking wrong with that, but just say it, you know, <laughs> like tell me something. You know what I'm saying? It's just like. <sighs> The Knight of Arrows. The King. What's this? The Kingfish? The Kingfisher. So this is. Uh, this is like an Aquarius. Is this a, the King of Arrows? The King of Arrows. This is like an Aquarius man that. Um, I'm serious. Like doesn't know. They trip over their words. Doesn't know how to. Um. They're saying finesse their self. It's like they trip over their words. They don't know what to say. They don't. It's like jumbled thoughts. It's like one minute they could feel like this. Look, like like this tree. Like one minute they could feel like this. But then the next day it's like they can second guess their thoughts. And they're like not sure of, you know. It's something about in regards to this love situation. Whoever this male Aries is. Um. I don't feel like this person has a sense of logic or confidence in regards to a love situation. And it just may be, maybe there isn't any attraction there, but I don't think it would say have confidence if it's, I just feel like somebody is just going through a maze of things within their self right now where they have to be more assertive and more dominant in regards to addressing what they think and what they feel and actually putting it on the table so it could be dealt with instead of just keeping it inside and leaving people guessing because at the end of the day I don't feel like you're a liar with this king of swords being in the reverse I just feel like you withhold truths from people where it leaves an empty situation where no one can figure out where to go or how to gauge things with you the knight of bows the fox and then the steer. So you do have a feminine energy here that is a go-getter. I feel like she's a deep thinker. She truly, I feel like she knows 
what's going on with you and i feel like that's why this person is still aggressively pursuing you and this person may be even sneaking around to try to see like what the fuck is wrong with this person like is this something that i am doing it's like you know like the high priestess is like someone that is seeking for answers asking questions using their gifts using their skills using their strength their knowledge listen the Fox is someone that is sneaky, skillful, active, you understand, like persistently trying to seek something. So I feel like this person is persistent in not giving up on you and I feel like they're trying to amass why you're not able to express what you're feeling or it's like they might be trying to figure it out for you because you're not giving them the answer so this person may be searching for the answers as to what happened to this attraction like you know like could be trying to manifest change because as you can see like there's so much differences between the two and y'all style and it's like up walking through a maze just trying to get to this door of change but it's like you know, it could be a stable situation if we could just work our way through this maze and, like, find a connection through our differences. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, I do feel like regardless of the fact that she can see that he doesn't have the confidence and he doesn't know what to say right now or even knows what he's feeling. It's like, I feel like she's trying to... She's trying to search deep inside and trying to help this person help theirself. Uh, I feel like she might be even giving this person a little bit of her spiritual knowledge and, and things. I don't feel like this person is giving up on him. What is this? The mirror in the reverse. Well, this is the hangman in the reverse. I can say. I can say that this woman, this female energy right here is. Looking at this masculine energy, this king of arrows, I mean, this king of arrows, this king of um, swords in the reverse, they say he's taking too long. And it's like, I'm willing to search within me to see if I can use my skills to help bring this out of him. And I'm being persistent with this knight of wands. Like, I'm not giving up. You know what I'm saying? But... This woman could possibly be at the point where it's like if this person doesn't have confidence and show me um, and tell me what they're thinking, what they're feeling, I might just like unhinge myself from being hung up on trying to make this thing work because I have enough confidence in myself that, you know, I could really obtain and achieve love. Um and with this world, this world card represents movements. It represents a closing of one chapter and moving into another one. And if this one is too difficult, I could definitely see now that I'm reading this steer and the Knight of Bows in a different way. I could definitely see. It's like this man isn't telling me the truth. This man isn't expressing to me what I need so I could understand what's going on. So, you know. She could be looking at this man as if he's lying. He's not being truthful and being regretful of even getting in the situation if this man doesn't even have the confidence to, to fess up and kick and kick her to business. You know what I'm saying? She might be sneaking and looking and trying to figure out what's wrong with this person and why this attraction isn't there anymore. Or because there is a lack of attraction here and too much struggle trying to get through this maze to open up the door of change so they can mend this, this together. She might be getting down off of this thing that she was stuck on and because she feels like you know this is negatively mirroring itself into my life and with the steer card over here this woman is confident she's all-knowing she is you know very very comfortable with being by herself so it's like if I can't and she's wise enough to know if some shit ain't just, if it ain't working, it ain't working. Like, I'm willing to try and do all that I can. Because, again, I feel like with this steer card, this might be someone that um, isn't interested in being single anymore. You know? But if you, if, if you can't commit and 
confess to me how you're feeling. I'm just going to. I'm just going to go because it's no point of, listen, the two of arrows at the bottom of the deck is like this part, this, the woman in the situation right here, she is having to make a decision. You know what I'm saying? Like, do I rely on faith? You know what I'm saying? And think that, you know, eventually this person will open up to me and things will get better and that I can really manifest change here because, you know, with the steer card, there is the high priestess card. Do I rely on my faith or do I go with what is materially being given to me right now? What this motherfucker is giving to me right now is showing me that they're not interested because they're not telling me what the fuck is going on. And they're leaving me guessing and I'm tired of searching. Like this shouldn't be such of a fucking mystery. You know what I'm saying? So again, with this high priestess, she's going within herself, you know, so. And then again, this might also be the feminine. And, and again, y'all know which side of the story is you. But I definitely see from the feminine side of the story right here that she is going within herself. She's trying to, she's still being persistent and trying to work with this. But she is, I, I feel like she's being more persistent and really trying to make a decision on if she's going to continue to allow this to be an influence in her life. Because if you're not showing me what I need, I, I definitely don't have any problem with getting the fuck down and asking spirit. And as you can see, this young lady is asking spirit for guidance. You see, she has the crystal ball. She is very deeply connected with spirit and with God. And she she does what God say. And if God tell her, listen, it's time to go. It's time to go. You know what I'm saying? That's why she got that blindfold on. You know, it's not about the glitz and glamour and the fame of being in a relationship and having someone to hold on to emotionally and spiritually with that feather. Is it elevating me? Am I happy? Am I being uplifted on the soul level? If not, I don't give a fuck about the money, glitz and glamour. You know what I'm saying? That's why she's going inside. Feeling of injustice. Feeling like something isn't fair. What is this? Observation. I'm trying to tell you. I told you with that fox. This person could be sneaking around. Trying to figure out what's going on. Um, observing someone. She could be holding some information. You know what I'm saying? That made her feel like she doesn't want to be hung up on this shit anymore. And for a matter of fact, because now this is switching for me, okay? I do feel like this woman feels like this man isn't in love with her anymore. And this person is lying with this king of arrows in the reverse. And... The world card is time to move on because we're too separate. We live two different separate worlds and it's too confusing. She's having confidence, I believe, right now to leave. Because I feel like she's tired of having to go within, looking for answers, snooping around. Um, she could be snooping around at herself and she's looking for a place to go. Um, and I feel like she could be... I want to say that she could be moving, like really moving on. Like it could be a secret that she's holding with. Like I feel like this woman has something brewing. And you see this boat here with this dead body in it and all this stuff like that. Like, yeah, she's moving past that. It's like she didn't bury this, this, whatever this, this thing that's been plaguing her mind and stuff. She done buried that shit and sent that bitch off in the river. And she's like searching inside and asking inner spirit, well, well, what's next? Cause I'm not, I refuse. I refuse to let this be what stagnates me in my life. You don't want me. I want me. Fuck it. You don't understand? That's what that confidence. You don't want me. I want me. So this person may just be observing. It's not about what you say. It's about what you do. Do you understand what I'm saying? You say that you're a king, but you're not acting kingly. And kingly would at least be honest. And you're not demonstrating that. It's not about what you say and what you're doing. What you're doing is showing me that you don't love me. There's no attraction. Um, what I was trying to manifest with you isn't working and I need to move the fuck on because you're not going to do nothing but sit there and confuse and lie to me. And I see that. I see that. 
and I'm stronger than this. Look like Janae Aiko said, I done been through worse than you. Okay? But I can't keep running away. You understand? I can't keep running away. You understand? I'm not going to keep running away from situations like oh this person hurt me i'm just like no fuck this shit have confidence i ain't going no motherfucking where i'm gonna sit right here and be a badass bitch right in front of your face and show you that you ain't shit to me like come on come on it says expand your consciousness by observing the divine matrix of life you gonna take the red pill or the blue pill you gonna go off of what is materially beneficial to you or you gonna move on faith do you understand? Honestly and truly. Because the faith right there. The faith is. I don't know what God has in store for me outside of this relationship. Out of this current existence. I know materially. Yes I have a woman. Yes I have a man. I don't feel like this person loves me anymore. The connection is dead. I feel like this person is lying to me. And just holding on to me. Just to have something to hold on to. While they doing whatever the fuck they want to do. But if I trust my faith. And me just feeling and knowing that shit ain't right. I don't know why I'm feeling like that. But I know. Listen. The high priestess knows. She, she don't have to have all the information. She just intuitively knows. I might not be able to see, but I know and I trust my skills and I got good motherfucking aim. So what am I about to do? The divine matrix of life. She going to pick that faith. I'm trying to tell you because there's an injustice. You said injustice, injustice. And I've been sitting back and I've been watching all of this shit and I got to go with my gut is telling me and I'm going to have confidence and I'm going to move out on my shit because look, I'm Queen Sheba out here. I already know this pussy slay severely, girl. You ain't telling me nothing. You understand what I'm saying? You ain't telling me nothing. These are these people's laws. Like I'm not going to sit here. I'm not going to say you don't love me. I love me. How about that? You don't love me, I love me, bitch. Now run tell them that shit, okay? The fuck? I don't even need to see where I'm going to know that I'm going to be blessed. I'm damn sure not about to sit here and listen to this shit. And you think you about to twist and tangle my world up with your confused, nut-ass bullshit? This nut-ass shit? Or this confusing bullshit? Feel like I can't get out of... Oh, motherfucker, watch me now. Okay? The hell? The hell? You ain't got to tell me you don't love me no more. You better yet, you ain't got to show me. The fuck what you say, motherfuckers, you lying. It's about what you show me, okay? The fuck? The hell? The fuck? I definitely, she is definitely stirring up some shit, sneaking her ass the fuck down off of this bullshit that she got hung up on. Come on now, cards. You better come on. What is this? Matahari. 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 Come on, girl. Mata girl. Ooh, why they about to shoot her? What? Why is she being slain in the public? Yo, what the fuck is going on? Who is Matahari? Y'all drop that down in the comments. Who is her? It says, always be ready for the performance of your life. Seduction is the most powerful currency. Your true friends see through your disguises. Ooh. So what this is trying to tell me here is y'all been secretive. Your true friends, they know, baby girl, that you ain't been happy. You've been trying to hide this shit from people. You've been trying to keep to yourself. Why are you trying to make this decision and shit and get your confidence together to get yourself? I definitely feel like you guys have been secluding yourself to yourself while you've been observing this motherfucker to figure out what the fuck you're going to do. And, and you guys are tired of complaining. You guys are tired of like venting to your family and your friends and people like that. And... You just been handling shit on your own like a boss do. They're telling me now something about someone trying to assassinate your character. It's something about someone trying to assassinate. Like put you, 
put you out there in front of the fire squad. Like this girl look like she about to get banged on. You see. And I feel like she's innocent. Why do I feel like people trying to bang on her and she's innocent? She's telling me, it's like, I, why do I feel like someone is trying to confuse this story? Or I don't know if y'all trying to tell me that I'm confusing this story. It's like, and y'all know that the shit could be read vice versa. Y'all take the energy how it is. But they're like, no. She lost her attraction for me. Someone just said she lost her attraction for me. And it's like this person is being shot down. However it is. Because they could they, they could be saying that this is a sneaky woman right here. But not well, with the fox, man. Because come on now. I need I read the Norman too. The fox now. Come on now. And you know the high priestess be holding secrets and stuff like that. And with the. Hangman in reverse to me, that's something being exposed. Always be ready for the performance of your life. So what this is basically telling me, y'all, I don't know. Ooh, y'all, oh my God. I ain't never really seen no domestic violence in um in an Aquarius reading. But what I'm basically saying, and I'm not literally thinking like someone is physically going to get shot, but it's something about you being put in front of a firing squad to like answer for your sins or some shit like that. And I really want to say it's this woman, but I, I feel like she did what she did because you lost your, it's, it's like, it's, it's. An argument. It's like. Well I cheated because you lost your attraction for me. No you lost your attraction for me. You're the wrong one. You were sneaking around and you were doing this. But she feels like she was doing this. Because you couldn't express how you felt. So it's like at the end of the day. Yeah she might have been sneaking and snooping around. and Because she trying to get down off of the shit with you. Because even if you didn't. Let's say for the man. Even if you did not cheat. You're just not an emotional person. You understand? You don't know how to express your emotions. You're not a very... You're not a water sign energy where you need that constant show of affection and everything like that. This person does. You understand what I'm saying? And by you not constantly giving them that show of affection, you constantly not doting on them and just telling them that you love them and, and shit like that. that that can make someone feel like you're not attracted to them that you don't love them that you're not pouring into the vessel and they will start moving on there listen you, you you're too different and if that's what it's gonna be like if you you need to find a relationship look king king fisher you need to find a relationship with someone that isn't looking for an on pour of emotion that doesn't want to be told that they're loved that doesn't want to have sex all the time that doesn't want to be kissed on all of the time you need to find an energy that kind of matches you because i feel like this is a mismatch as relationship bottom line and i feel like the compatibility was completely the fuck off. And I don't feel like it's fair for this woman to be shot down. And for her to be assassinated in the public. Like she's this sneaky nasty bitch that was running around cheating and everything like that. You were not confirming your love for her. And at the end of the day. If you don't have the confidence to express your love for her. She loved herself. Do you understand what I'm saying? You don't quit one job before you find another one. And that's what the fuck she was doing. Bottom line, you put her to in a position where she had to trust her faith or trust, you know what I'm saying, what's being currently given to her right now. And she couldn't trust that because she couldn't trust you because you wasn't telling her. So I, I don't, you can, you can put her in the firing squad if you want to, but you need to observe your energy as well. Because if it was me, I wouldn't. 
I wouldn't stay in a situation where I wasn't satisfied and I wasn't sure if I'm actually loved. Look, the five of swords. Look at you. Whoever this male energy is, the five of swords is like you are trying to outstay. Why am I feeling like, oh my gosh. Whoever this male energy right here is very angry at this woman. He feels betrayed by this woman. I definitely feel like this person is arguing. Um, it's like arguing with this woman. It's like a lot of vicious arguments and like verbal slander and abuse. I definitely feel like this is someone who is intentionally going around and saying foul shit about this person and not really telling the whole story like you're not telling the whole story did this person was this person cheating with this get clarify because there's there's an altercation going on right now you know there's an altercation right now i i definitely hold on the truth like, okay, so with this two of vessels, like, it, it's the truth. Like, this person really didn't love this woman over here. Like, it just was not compatible. And I feel like this man wasn't being honest about the lack of compatibility. I feel like this person was just holding on for safekeeping. As you can see, he got... His sword, which is his truth, and he got those two swords that he's carrying. So, clearly he had two other people that he was communicating with. I feel like this person kind of likes the battle a little bit. It's like, I, I don't know why I feel like this person likes the drama. And you see the two owls right there? That's like bird talk. Like, I swear, it's sw I, I swear this person likes drama. This person likes drama. And that's just bottom line. And it's a, that's why it's like you had to really sit there and go within yourself and search. But that's why I'm trying to say this person had to observe this person's energy. Like, is it me? Is this something that I'm doing? Why am I not? Because you see those two owls there. Just listen. There And there's people. There's people talking about what's going on too. There's most definitely gossip and chatter about the situation. But this man needs to go within himself and needs to... The ace of cut like what okay so and then this fairy energy or whatever right here i, I want to say like true love true let, 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 let's keep it 100 true love comes in the forms sometimes that you don't understand you know and i feel like sometimes When true love comes into your life, it can make you feel unconfident and unsure of yourself. Because you're not sure if you are supposed to have something this beautiful, something this easy, something this loving, something this nurturing. And sometimes when people... I don't know why I'm feeling like in regards to whoever this male energy is over here. I feel like this person has anger issues and just like ego issues within himself it's something about this woman's energy with this steer it's like she might have made this man with the steer and with this knight of wands energy it's like she's a very powerful energy she's a go-getter she's very attractive she has a lot going on for her in her life and she does not lack the confidence that he wants to have and for him, he gains his confidence by, I don't want to say beating up on people, but making people feel like they're lower than, you know what I'm saying? Like, one-upping people by either intelligence, by being sly and manipulative, you know what I'm saying? 
just being very strategic in the way that they watch other people fall and it makes them feel powerful and I don't want to talk about this man like he's a very very bad person but there are certain people that in order for them to feel good they have to make you feel a step lower than them you understand what I'm saying that's the only way that they can communicate and feel powerful in, on their level if it's someone that is coming around with the steer energy, you have natural gifts, like you have the answers to everything, like anything that he says that he tries to outsmart or out trick you, clearly you see the king of um, swords in the reverse. So this person could be telling you some type of con or lie or a scam or something like that. She intuitively knows and is redirected I ain't falling for your schemes and she asks too many questions do you understand what I'm saying and he don't like that and that makes him feel he it makes him feel it, it just it, it, it and, and she will go looking she will go and find the answers do you understand what I'm saying and she don't have no problem with being not hung up on this person and I really do feel like because she went and did what was best for her, I want to say, without telling him, because he wasn't telling her, now he's going around trying to slander her fucking name, and it's like, he needs to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, but again, with this king of arrows in the reverse, he isn't a type of person to be honorable, he's a known liar, do you understand what I'm saying, but at the same time, I want to say that this person did want to express love to this person, I feel like he doesn't know how to because he felt powerless do you understand what i'm saying and this is the true reason why i feel like he felt weak you understand he felt weak and it's like he is used to having a certain level of mental stability and control over situations like it was yin and yang like this one is he met his match with her she was a little smarter than him she was a little bit more calculated than him. She outsmarted him. Like, seriously, she outsmarted him. He thought he was sneaking around, doing whatever, and, like, she beat him to the fucking punch. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, she be and now he's trying to assassinate her. Like, she's just a fucked up ass person and, like, not telling the truth. And I don't fuck with that because, really, he loved this person, but she loved herself more. Bottom line. One more. I just got to do this. What's this? The judgment. I'm trying to tell you, like, this person will be judged. And as you can see, this girl for girlfriend is running towards the light and everything like that. God is going to, listen, honor her and save her. And she is going to be reprieved from all of the slander, from all of the gossip. Judgment day is coming and you will have to answer for all of this, all of this, all of this stuff. You understand? Because it's like you rejected love because it made you feel weak about yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really feel like this girl did anything to you. I really don't. And if you weren't attracted to her, don't hold on to people that you like. Don't do that. I don't like. What is this? The two of wands in the reverse. The four chalices. Let's see. She, I'm trying to tell you. She waited. She tried. Listen. She waited. She tried to work things out with this person. Because it's like me and you are sitting here working and, and doing this together. Like why isn't this bean stock growing? Why are we both putting our energy into this? Why isn't this growing? Like I'm not understanding. We got all of the right elements. We, You know what I'm saying? Like what is going on? Like just could not understand, and that's why with this not this this, it just wasn't added up. Do you understand? It just was not added up. If I'm pouring the same thing into the picture that you're pouring in, why is it not growing? Why are we not moving? Why do we feel so together but so torn apart? I just I don't get it. And why? Why are you not telling me? What I need to know, it's like this person got to a point in their life where it's like, you know, when I first got into the situation, I was all drunk off of love and, you know, I wanted to keep giving myself, but I was scared to continuously being rejected because I want to say like this woman was trying to offer. And remember, I told you that this woman was hung up on this thing, keep offering, offering, offering herself to someone who is refusing her and really made her feel 
in a certain way like she wasn't given good enough like she wasn't beautiful enough like it was something wrong with her but she knows better things are not going right things are not moving in the direction that I think it should be then it's just about time for me to move on I'm not about to sit here patiently and keep waiting to be punished and be rejected and feel like I'm not good enough I'm awake I'm awake it's no point in me standing here any longer like you know what I'm saying it's time for me to open myself up to something that is more receiving something that is beneficial someone that's going to work with me do you feel what I'm saying the high priest this bitch I told you this bitch is all knowing and she good by her own and what goes on in the dark will comes to the light and she's like you everything that you're doing it'll be exposed and I don't got to say anything to you. You know exactly what you were doing to me. And you know why I walked away. You could run around and lie on me and tell motherfuckers whatever the fuck you want to tell them so that you can sleep good at night. But you know what the fuck. You know what was happening. The only thing I was sneaking around and doing is trying to figure out what the fuck you were sneaking around and doing. And once I realized what you were sneaking around and doing, what the fuck is the point of me bringing this shit up to you and saying a goddamn thing to you when I could just get the fuck on and move on about my merry ass goddamn life? So you mad because I out tricked the trickster? Listen, I done out tricked the trickster. I done goddamn, you thought you was being slick, but you ain't slicker than me, bitch. Ain't nothing that you could ever think. You got the high priestess twice. Ain't nothing that you could ever in your black ass life ever think that you could try to pull over on, on me that you that I ain't seen before, that I ain't done before, or that God ain't going to let me know. Before you can even think about doing it, bitch, I done seen you thinking about it in my goddamn dreams, motherfucker. I'm too, too many steps ahead of you, bitch. Go and tell motherfuckers whatever you want to tell. I done searched inwards. I done searched outwards. You know, I, I, I had to have a talk with myself and make this decision. I done sat back and I done observed and I done seen how you was really moving. I had to go within myself. Because I seen what you're giving me. I see what you're offering. I don't want it no more. Look, you ain't, you act like you were into, you know, into me like that. You... Had me waiting, you was rejecting me. I don't want you no more. I'm awoke. I'm sober. Ain't no more drunken love ass shit. I'm hip. I'm all knowing and I'm beautiful. Bottom line. Ain't nothing under the light of the sun or the darkness of the moon that you can hide from me. Because God tell me everything. Everything. Checkmate. And that's real pussy power, bitch. Now you can go run tell that motherfucker. Check me. I'm up out of here. Okay? I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. Listen, y'all stay encouraged. You continue to have confidence. And you stick to what you know. If your gut and your intuition is telling you something ain't motherfucker right, let the motherfuckers run around and go tell the whole goddamn world. Let them speak all that bullshit on you all they want to. You know what the fuck is going on with you. Okay? And what goes on the dark will come into the light. This motherfucker, and for real... This person done hurt other people like that. And they need to tell the truth that they're sneaking and they're not trustworthy. The Five of Swords is someone that is not trustworthy. It's not someone that you you should take your eye off of them. They'll sneak, steal, and kill to get what they want. Okay? And they would do some underhanded, nasty ass shit just to see things their way and get people to believe what they want them to believe. That motherfucker need to tell the truth. I'm a nasty, gutter butt, trifling ass, dog ass, ain't shit motherfucker. I wasn't putting in what I should have been putting in, so I got put the fuck out. Bottom line. <laughs> Take care uh, and all of that. But you will see your judgment day, baby. Listen, and all that truth that you got within you, you can tell it to God and God will see for it that everything that needs to be done will be done and the correct story will be stuck. Baby, listen, uh-uh. I ain't got it to do. I got to get up out of here because y'all listen. Come on now. Aquarius, why you leave it them, Delarius, like that? You'd have left someone big, mad, Aquarius. Big, mad. I got to go. Peace.